Hi, it's Daisy here. In this video, I will show you how to set up a Google Map on your website without any code, only using the GetWit plugin. Such a map can display one or multiple locations, and its look and controls can be tailored according to your needs. Make sure that you are using the latest version of GetWit to have access to all the blocks. Then open a page where you want to display the map. Click on the plus icon and the Google Maps block can be found in the GetWit section. In order for your website to communicate with Google Maps and access the service, you need to insert a Google Maps API key. It can be created in your Google account, but I will not show you how to do it in this video, because the instructions from Google often change. However, you can always find the latest guide to creating API keys by following this link. Once you get the key, Insert it in this field to get access to all Google Maps settings. An alternative location for your key is in the Settings tab, Writing, the GetWit section. Let's move on to the settings of the block itself. In the right-hand panel, we can choose Zoom and Pan interactions. Zooming changes the scale of the map, while Panning allows dragging within the map. By default, we only prevent unintentional zooming of the map. For example, when a user is simply scrolling through the page, then we can either enable or disable zooming and dragging. In Map Center and Zoom, we set up the default scale of the map and its positioning. You can scale and reposition the map the way you want in the preview area or enter your values in the panel. In the Style tab, we can define the height of the map in pixels. If your theme has full screen and wide layouts, then you can switch between them in the top bar. In the right-hand panel, we can also turn on and off different interface elements, like zoom controls, map type, street view, and full screen. Note that if your map is too small, 200 by 200 pixels, the controls will be hidden. There are plenty of map styles to choose from. But you can also add a custom style. For the latter, you would need to create your custom style through one of the links below. Copy the code and paste it here. Through different styles, you can prevent other businesses and any other pointers in the area from showing up in your map. Advanced CSS is where you could add a custom CSS class to customize the style of the block even more. And another important part of the map are markers, of course. To add them, click on the marker icon in the top bar and drop the pin on the location. You don't have to be precise now, because we can adjust the coordinates while editing the marker. First of all, we can change its title and then add pop-up content. It is what your visitors see when they click on the marker. If we enable the next toggle, the pop-up will be shown even before your website visitor clicks on the marker. Next, we adjust the width of the pop-up container and can change the coordinates. Click Save and the marker will appear in the New Layout tab, where all markers go. There is no limit to the number of markers that you can add. All of them can be deleted or edited here later. That is it for the Google Maps block. Let us know in the comments below if you have any questions. Like the video if you liked it and subscribe to our channel for more WordPress tutorials. Thank you for watching and have a great one!